So the question of post-traumatic stress disorder, we do recognize they are um, they're cousins. They often come together. They're not the same thing, but they're very related. Um, in the military, post-traumatic stress disorder is often a comorbid state. In other words, comes along with the traumatic brain injury. And that's because how did this soldier get a brain injury? They got an injury because they were exposed to an explosive blast. And you can imagine in that blast, some of their friends may have been injured, potentially killed. And that, of course, is going to give them um, a, uh, not only an injury to the brain, but also an injury to the, to the mind, uh, which is what I consider post-traumatic stress disorder to be. So they're co-located. In, in, in the military system, uh, it is very common for soldiers to get both care for a concussion at the same time getting care uh, for combat stress and by the combat stress teams. In terms of our personal work trying to delineate the two, we, that has not been really fully uh, accomplished yet. We recognize, as I said, that they are often happen together, but we recognize they're two separate distinct conditions. So the management of one is very different necessarily than the management of the other. And there is no, at the moment, a combined way of approaching both. So sadly, we have to approach each individually. It's not, it is very common, I should say, for a person with a traumatic brain injury to manage by medical professionals who focus on the brain injury at the same time being managed by uh, behavioral health, mental health providers to manage the uh, TBI issue. So I think uh, it comes in that system of care again. So if you recognize that it's not going to be one fix, but maybe multiple fixes, it becomes a multidisciplinary uh, approach. And that's probably the best. So um, for me as a clinician who's taken care of many of these um, um, injured uh, patients, and many of whom have both at the same time a, a traumatic brain injury and a uh, combat stress-related uh, disorder, uh, such as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, uh, or PTS, uh, then the, um, how, uh, I would say that my experience has really helped me in terms of uh, um, managing these patients. Number one is I'm aware. That the first and foremost, you have to you 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 won't know until you ask, and so to be aware that these two conditions are often uh, occur at the same time, the awareness is very important. The second thing is is to recognize that the treatment of one doesn't necessarily impact the treatment of the other, either for good or bad, and that is very important because then I've learned how to become a good partner to my colleagues in the behavioral health world, the, the psychiatrists, the psychologists, the the uh, the. the clinical licensed social workers. The, it's very important to, to work together to take care of a patient so that the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. And I would say third, though, is that recognizing that before, early on, before we recognize that these came together, is that, in fact, if you don't take care of one or the other, the recovery from the disease that you are managing is almost impossible. And in fact, we found that these uh, uh, soldiers with, uh, with mild concussion who are not getting better. The vast majority is because, not because of the concussion, but because of the untreated PTS, the untreated post-traumatic stress. And so that insight, which we, we finally, I think many of us have <laughs> registered to, realize that if you don't treat one, you're not going to cure the other.